Yeah. Okay. Um, a lot of this one to start playing with NXS. We actually did NXS a favor by, by playing with them and selling lots of tickets because everyone was coming to see Ah, oh, well, as long as you quote yourself on that. It's <laughs> <laughs> true. Um, uh, we wouldn't say that. Um, <laughs> we would never say yeah, that. No, 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 no. But you know, it's true. But you can. I can, okay. and I will. <laughs> um, what's it like playing with? Uh, with the band of that stature? Well, it's great for us playing with them in, here in South Africa because um, we get exposed. Bring perspective. Yeah, they, they brought us, we were, we were... Pay <laughs> the story. Yeah, it brings us a bit of perspective. You know, Inside. To, see, to yeah. see to see a band that's been going on for 20 years and that's toured the world. I've always wondered how they get that big drum Lots sound, and now I know. It's by playing a drum track while the drummer is playing. Ah, okay. <laughs> on a click. Okay, you know? yeah. But it's, it's great for us uh, to play with them here because um, we get exposed to audiences that don't usually come to our shows. Mm. Um, other people who are who were like adults in the 80s and, then, and they listened to an excess and they came to see an excess. But then, then they see it as well, yeah. which is a, a good thing. Yeah. Because maybe we get some more people. Yeah. Sure. 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 I mean, it's so it's supposed to just to, to, well, I mean, also really to yeah. quite a large audience as well. I mean, like to we have played to about 11,000 people in Victoria at yeah. the Turkey's Arrive Festival. I was there. It's quite a party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
a huge label. Mm. Was that good morning? Good Here is the man, Josalina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was going to go and have a swim. Yeah, sure. Yeah. What are these types of things on the set? Pinky pie. That's just what it was. Yeah. 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 Okay, getting back to the album, mm. um, the the tracks that you selected for it, was that sort of a, a did you have more tracks, how many how many songs did you actually record? We have a few other tracks, but um, those are most of the tracks that we've been playing now for the past year and a half. Right. Some of them we've been playing for about six months or less. So how did you actually go about putting the tracks, you know, selecting the tracks? Because it's a little we process. Tried to put out everything. We tried to put out everything except for like a few, like there's about Just two or three so other songs that are also finished and then a few other songs we're working on that aren't finished yet. But that's most of the tracks that, that were finished and we yeah. tried to get everything out, right. basically. Mm. And then, yeah. Um, so that's quite a crazy start. Yeah. It's, the, it's the middle one. Cherry. Cherry time. <coughs> Um, see, I had all my Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, there's there's two mentors in the front, so just dodge those. Mm. Um, now, I've got a question. Your 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 history, as far as history goes, it's been quite an interesting one. I mean, uh, right from the end, one um, to the point of recording that album. I mean. You had, you had the sort of cult following, if you have to put it in the yeah. right in the center. A lot of people knew uh, who you were, but then it, until the album came out, it was a case of just seeing you live. Uh, and I was trouble getting the, the album as well, because we didn't have enough money to print yeah. enough. Yeah. We were doing it ourselves, so lots of people were looking for the, for the, for the, for the album. Yeah, and, and that sort of, I think, uh, created a lot of uh, ex uh, expectation yeah. and, uh, and a, a sense of mystery. Yeah. Think, because they couldn't get the album, but they knew that uh, some of their friends made it Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, that helped, helped us to when we eventually actually signed to a record label. Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 the <laughs> distributing as much as, as is needed. It yeah. helped to, to, to sell them. The new, the new stuff. Because, I mean, then, then, as I say, then. You released the same Neanderthal one on your own and then suddenly yeah, took really it over, and then even then, I it's all back once again. But I mean, you're, I think in the last year, you've, um, I mean, you've been part of the best last year, and all of that. Yeah, like you, you've become a commercial band in the true sense of what I mean, radio is playing you yeah. all over the show. Was, there, was that your sort of intention? Yeah, no, 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 I don't think we're, we're, we, you can say that now we are a commercial band because we're being played on radio. I mean, we, yeah. we write songs that we like, yeah. and some of them happen to work well on radio, some of them happen yeah. not to work well at all on radio, and then more like yeah. marching. I mean, if you come to a live show, you'll, you'll, you'll see people who only see the really dance uh, uh, to the uh, singles because they know them from the radio. And between the singles, you, you have songs that are not, not as accessible as the radio song. Yeah, and, and that's when the mush so uh, yeah, yeah. comes into existence. Really. Because now, again, back to the new album, um, Josh again sort of classifies it, and I mean it is, it's quite a heavy album. Mm. It's not a strictly commercial album in the sense that it's going out to the market, you on a major level, etc, etc, et but um, were you sort of aware of that when you so we chose the tracks and put that on the We know that we, we, will, we will lose a lot of people that used to like to a lot of like the bubblegum kind of songs. Not not bubblegum and boots, but like I'm a friend and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's good. Is it good? Yeah. Well, it's good yeah, in the way well, that, that, that we're doing what we didn't we plan to, it, but we were aware of it. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's just the way it happened. In the beginning, we got when we got those, those crowds in the beginning, we didn't really plan on getting those crowds made. Yeah. Well, not, not all, I'm talking, not talking about all the crowds, but like a certain specific yeah. um, sector of. So, so now who are you attracting now? Are you are you still trying to attract? Still people? the same people, but there's maybe some people that won't won't go. To yeah, or, or I think the, the thing is that we we not we never try to to cater for any specific market. You know, we just did music that we wanted to do, and we're still doing that. So if some people don't like what we're doing now, 
it used to like what we're doing, that's okay. Mm. Or like you said, that's good. Mm. You know, because we, we're still doing what we do, what we want to do. Yeah, it's sort of a creative step, really. Yeah. You know, yeah. because I mean, if you, I mean, if you compare it to, to the earlier stuff, are you, can can you sort of see how, how you've sort of grown as a band? You know, when you, when you compare well, something, you Well, we can feel it, I suppose. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, it's not... Um, People often expect that it's much more contrived than it is. Yeah. It, it just actually grows. I mean, that's that's the way we would prefer to create, to bounce off each other's energies. Yeah, you know. it's very, very little calculation. It's, yeah. it's very spontaneous. Which is I think that, that's also the secret. I mean, people can pick it up really quickly. It is, isn't spontaneous, but yeah. it's, it's contrived. It's young. It's cool. Yeah, it's in your uh, uh, okay. <coughs> what publication is this? Uh, this um, are you going to? Fine, good. Sir. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> Are they related? <laughs> maybe they have the same energy. <laughs> maybe they have the same energy. Because, because, because Nikocast is better on the outside as well. They probably are. Ours. It's a very vague way. Yeah, I don't know. But that, I mean, obviously not directly. But, uh, no, what, got, so, no. How, how did he actually get involved? Uh, I don't know. We heard that he lives around this place by. And we've listened to his music when we grew up. Uh, right. Was it not? Yeah, music? it was. <laughs> <laughs> well, we couldn't. We couldn't help listening to it. Yeah. It's playing on the fucking TV. No, it's just a question of we we um we thought of uh, asking some other artists to collaborate with them on on songs and um and we could cast his strength of mind. We asked him. Right. Right. And was he? Yeah, he was in Cape Town. And, and yeah, and, and he was. We just thought it would be interesting to to yeah. have the accordion with with that. Uh, voice of age. Yeah. Really very fucking me. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 he and he's very good. He's a very good musician. Strong. And also from the same culture. I mean, not that that dictated the move totally, but it, it had something to do with it. has got a great sense of humor. It made it more um, interesting, I suppose. As soon, as soon as you want to treat him like an old topic, he gets pissed off. No, he treats you in a weird way, then you like to go out of He's much more up there than yeah. what you think he is. Yeah. He's great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a very nice guy. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, we, 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 in the beginning, they had this term that, that they're calling for the music of that like Buddha punk. Mm, Buddha punk. Yeah, yeah. So, I suppose yeah. I think that's to do with Buddha because we're Afrikaans. Yeah. Collaboration, ultimate uh, surprise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> punk and Bakanga, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, think, I think you've probably surprised a lot of, a lot of Afrikaans people mm. with what you've done. I mean, because, okay, your music. Uh, is, based, is essentially English album wise, but you're an Afrikaans fan. Yeah. Now, well, we're Afrikaans speaking. Speaking, yeah. 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 And you. Yeah, and you the, the, the term Afrikaans band is always problematic. Yeah, some people used to find that that uh, strange to be an Afrikaans band, but not on the lyrics side. Yes. 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 To yes. explain it to them like this, um, Arno writes lyrics. Yeah. He has a very um, spontaneous. He has a very spontaneous way of, of writing lyrics and the whole songs, melodies, and lyrics. And um, so what he does. I perceive it all the time, so that he just absorbed everything around all the culture around him. A lot of it is um, the popular culture, you know? and all the images from there, and all the content of it goes into his lyrics. And we're, in this country, we're exposed to American and European music, which is essentially English. So it's not a calculated move, now I'm going to write in English. It's just it's a spontaneous thing. It's absorbing, uh, absorbing what's around you and then creating something out of that. So it's bound to be English. Yes. But I mean, he, we wrote quite a few Afrikaans songs as yes. well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We only ever did well two of them, and one of them is one of them was totally just a, an improvisation. Yeah. The other one, Isn't that he actually sad? wrote before he met the band yeah. and and um, brought it out in a uh, yeah. Yeah. compilation. No, yeah. I don't think it's sad. No, in the sense, in the sense that, it's really that you that you can't play or yeah. play strictly Afrikaans music and have the same. Yeah. You know, what, even if your lyrics were not for concert, the music remained the same, but you couldn't, you couldn't get away with it. No, we, we, we can. We have certain Afrikaans songs, and yeah. we play them because they flow. And they, yeah, and they, but it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't um, 
it reached radio, radio it just playing as 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 to be as accessible. And yeah, I suppose that that is um, maybe sad in a way. I mean, I was talking to someone the other day about Afrikaans, and they thought Afrikaans would, would still be spoken, you know, by by the, the third generation from now. Yeah, and the person said, no, I don't think so. Yeah, and I thought, well, that's okay. Well, then it has to happen. You know? yeah. It's like, I, I suppose it'll become like Gaelic or something. Yeah. You know? But there's a lot of people who speak Afrikaans. Yeah, well, this is the thing and, and, and there's a lot of people who are going to speak Afrikaans to their children. So I don't think it'll be, become that ex that extinct that quickly. Yeah, but what's nice about it is that you've got a, a young band that is um, that is essentially Afri an Afrikaans band. And I mean, you you could well, as it were, ambassadors of of the language musically speaking. Mm. And then I, I suppose in a way you actually yeah. do quite a bit to keep it alive. Yeah. You know, because there's a lot of pressure to push it away. And, yeah. Well, I, th I think what, what's happened is is all of a sudden uh, in a non-racist society, any ethnicity is cool. Wherever you come from, acknowledge your roots and live with it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what I find, what I found though, is there's quite a lot of prejudice towards Afrikaans, Afrikaans-speaking people amongst some English-speaking people in Namibia, especially. Uh, yeah, but also, also in, in Johannesburg or in Durban, people usually um, there's lots of people who think of Afrikaans people as they they, they have a certain um, idea of Afrikaans people. Yeah, but they're, 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 they're conservative and they listen to Buddha music only. Exactly. Like, well, yeah, conservative being. And so they're very, they're very surprised. They're, they're very surprised with with. Um, people who are more cosmopolitan than yeah. Afrikaans. Yeah. 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 yeah because and, I mean, and that's what we're saying, we're Afrikaans too. Yeah. But we're not saying it, we're just being it. You're being it, yeah. yeah. I mean, as I say, you, you don't epitomize any of that. Mm. You, you actually, almost like a, 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 a new breed yeah. kind of thing. Anna's girlfriend said, Afrikaners can be real rock spiders, but when they're funky, no one gets them. <laughs> just, no one, no one is funky. <laughs> no one is funky as funky Afrikaners. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it's true. I mean, if you think about it, you're the only guys who actually have an identity in the sense of an English-speaking South African doesn't. Yeah. Well, uh, I, mean, well again, I wouldn't say that. No, I wouldn't say that. So, well, we, we have more of a consolidated identity yeah, and yeah. cultural baggage in terms yeah. of Calvinism to be resolved, which kind of makes for some, someone who moved out of it oh, um, yeah, nice. had to have dealt with a lot of things. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, and just, come out and said we are who we are. Yeah. You know, we're, as as, you know, we are the English we're mm. I suppose that's why Afrikaans' alternative culture is so vibrant. Yeah. It's yeah. very energetic. It's very motivated. No, I'd say I'd say Afrikaans. Afrikaans people have to deal now with, with a lot more um, conflict. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot, there's, there's, lot there's more a, protectionism. Yeah, well, there's, 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 there's a very definite um, conservative culture that, that the, the new generation is breaking away from. You know, with, with English-speaking people, you don't get that that same uh, um, measure of. Yeah, they've been brought up as liberals. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, so called. Well, fine <laughs> liberals. <laughs> that's the SABC. Yeah. Yeah, no, but I, but I, I, I wouldn't agree with the fact that English people, people don't have an identity. I mean, all the groups in South Africa definitely are indigenous. I mean, the English yeah. have been here since 1820. Yeah, I mean, by default. My family's been here since 16, something in the 70s. So. Oh, it's right. like everyone, everybody's been here for hundreds of years, you know? So yes, absolutely. It's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a new plan. Yeah, pretty much. So we're Africans, actually, in a way. We're not yeah. European. We're not settlers, you know? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> and, and where would you say you guys fit into, I mean, I, I, I keep on saying to, to Josh, I say to him, well, when are you going to take these guys over? I mean, it's the obvious question. You do your stuff here, you build up your fan base here. Obviously, out there is where you want to be, ultimately, because you want your music to be heard by as many people. But in the South African context, where do you think your music fits in? In the South African context? Yeah. I think, um, I think our music is, 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 um, speaks mostly to, to the white market in South Africa, you know, because it's Eurocentric, or whatever you want to call it, it's, it's not African, African music. Yeah. Um, so the market is, is quite small, we yeah. don't do as well as Lucky Dubi. No, sure. Like no, African people are angry too, but they're angry in a different way. The anger isn't as old and as evolved as Western anger, yeah. so that's why they can't really Relate to, mm -hmm. to, to it's not that at all. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I'd, I'd, I'd leave that out. No, but no, it's, I'm, 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 well, okay. It's, it's not a discriminatory thing. No, no, it's, no. it's about reductionism. It's about Western scientism. Yeah. African philosophy is totally different. They do have anger. The anger is mostly political. Mm. It's got 
for like to do you know, yeah. yeah, yeah. But now No, it does have a lot to do I with think, me. Yeah, I, think, <laughs> I felt very guilty for a long time. Why? Because <laughs> I'm white, uh, boy. Shame. Yeah. Yeah. What a pity. But um, mm. as I said, starting a band in this country, playing now, I mean, as I said, 1997, is it, is it cool to be a band in South Africa? I mean, is it a, is it a good thing? Is it a viable thing? Well, it, it, it works. Uh, it, it, we do. Um, okay, we're not do, We're not making stacks. It's no. like Bart Simpson. You know, you have to feel we're proud whatever you do. We make, yeah. We're making a living. Yeah. No, but I mean, is it a viable thing? A viable thing. Yeah, in South Africa. I mean, because it's a. Well, it's as, a, I, as, as I've said, the, the market here for the kind of music we limited, make is so. very, very limited. Yeah. The only way that you can you can actually um, uh, keep doing it on a long term basis is actually um, breaking into another market. Yeah. Any other market. Not necessarily trying to make it big or anything, but yeah. creating another following, another market for yourself, also in other countries. Yeah. It's, it's important for the long term thing. Otherwise, I think you'll, you'll keep on playing in South Africa if you never get that break or you never make that move, you know. And um, eventually, after 15 years, you'll still be playing in pubs and you'll lose, you'll lose your motivation and your, your motivation for writing new stuff. And eventually, it's just a dim motivating thing to keep on playing in pubs sure. for the do, do, years and do you years. think that there's sort of a, a newfound respect for original South African music? Definitely. I mean, Definitely. Just, yeah. 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 That I mean, yeah. you can you can go to a place and you, you there isn't a prerequisite where you have to do. Yeah, I, th I think you I think people you are and you respect it as such. Yeah, it's 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 very it's it's cool yeah. as long as it doesn't. Uh, it, well, it will probably or whatever. But I'm very glad to be in this time or whatever because um, we don't walk around and we don't get like. Ah, you know, like uh, maybe Europe, where, 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 where there's like journalism and real fucking... Yeah, real. Thank yeah. God we don't have it here. I don't have the power for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. yeah, absolute fucking childishness. Yeah, here um, the, the the business is is isn't at all as harsh as it is uh, in America or Europe. Europe. So um, I think when we when we do get there, um, it's going to be quite a shock, and we will have to brace ourselves for it. You know, to start from scratch. Yeah. But I think we'll be able to do it, um, just to to see what happens. Sure, absolutely. So we don't want to go, go over to make it big. We want no. to go over to see what our chances are of, of actually um, opening another market for sure. ourselves. Sure. Yeah, 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 that's it. Open maybe another market. Yeah, and, and yeah, you got basically, to, have you got yeah. Your, have you got to own any particular place that you'd like to try based on your sound. Um, we we thought of both of Britain and and yeah, Amsterdam. Yeah. And maybe um, Amsterdam for the Afrikaans on then the Dutch culture. I wouldn't say that. No, no. I, I'd say Amsterdam just for the cosmopolitan um, feel there, and the fact that people are very, very open. In that city, people are very open to to, to new music. You know, they, they lo love going to see music. And, um, I think they're even more open than Britain is. Yeah. I think Britain is is very much. Um, they, they like their mainstream. That's an island. Yeah, yeah Michael Hardy Hatch yeah, says yeah. London is up its own ass and very happy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They like their Britain. The, what do you call it? Is it drip pop? I don't know if that's yeah, the right word. Yeah. But what's what's been going on in England for the past few years? They, yeah. they like that, and it's very it's very um, it's very how should I say bland yeah, most of it. And, yeah, yeah. But you don't know. Maybe they want something else now. <laughs> yeah, but now, but now what? No, no, no. What is Sony's commitment to? to I mean, because you guys. Sony South Africa. You need all the help. So you know. we signed to Sony South Africa, and, and their commitment is is um, all the way. Is it hundred percent? So they they're, they're going to push it for you. Yeah. And, before you can get signed to any other, or distributed, yeah. signed to any other Sony branch. Yeah, because that's so nice of you, you, because you would, you would, yeah. such a, a lack of labor yeah. in the sense that, I mean, you signed to Epic, but I mean, Epic in itself yeah. is a, it's a powerful Yeah, it, it's a different, it, it's a different, definitely a, a, a four deal. Yeah. yeah. But, um, if, before any other Sony would even think of signing us, we have to, like, in some way, um, um, Prove ourselves, or prove that that there are actually people going to go to the shops and buy our stuff. Right. Yeah. So it is difficult. it's going to be a yeah. question of doing a few gigs um, that are going to be make or break gigs. You know, yeah. where we um, like showcases. Yeah, yeah, type thing, and 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 where people are either going to like us or right. they go back to Africa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know. Now, now, what would it take to break this band up? To break it up. Yeah. Um, hand grenades and <laughs> more physical things. Yeah, we, I'm, I'm sure we will. We can um, 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 solve all the all gibberish little, shit. Yeah. yeah, I'm very positive. So this is a long term. So all yeah, yeah. 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 y
20 year plan, 30 year plan, whatever we look. Yeah. We've yeah. got nothing to prove at the moment because yeah. we've got all the time in the world. Excellent. <coughs> For the next 10 years, whatever we do. Yeah, conflict resolution is very necessary. We, um, yeah. We've also had a lot of practice in that. Um, yeah, but generally I think, yeah. we try to reach a consensus, and if we can't, it goes down to a vote, and everybody accepts the result. Yeah, and it's over. And that's it. I think our yeah our conflict resolution where we are has, has been very, has been good, yeah. very good. Yeah, yeah. So, it's essential because I mean it's the outside force that doesn't have to break yeah. it. It's not so much internal. I mean, oh, we, we, we are going to have like our um, setup is more democratic than than good. other bands I've heard about. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, mean, I think we are going to have. Uh, moments of pressure, you know, where we maybe have a showcase gig or something, and we know that this is going to be um, very decisive for our careers for the next three or four, maybe five years, okay, and it's going to be, put some pressure on us. Yeah, so, you know. so everyone's But I think we'll be right able place. to deal with it. Yeah, yeah, so there's not going to be any more changes in the band, not that there were any, but I mean, you just had additions, but I mean, as far as, um, are, you sort of, are you happy with We'd yeah. like to work with other people, you know, guest artists. Yeah, and that kind of thing. yeah. Well, not, current, not currently, yeah, I've, well, I've, I've been uh, working on a project. Um, and Theo is involved in it as well. I don't know if he has two brilliant ideas on or orchestrating for a symphonic wind orchestra to play with rock band. And yeah. It has never been done in this country. Well, yeah, symphony orchestra yeah. has been done by Hans Rosenschul in the 80s. The yeah, project called right. Does the Noise in My Head Body. I was part of the mass yeah. choir. Yeah. Um, but Symphonic Wind hasn't been done, and um, also Stellenbosch is incredible. It's, a, it's got a huge infrastructure. My ex-trumpet teacher is now the conductor of that orchestra, yeah. and um, also the choir professor, Agama Fuchs, said yeah. she has a chamber choir, and she'd like to work with us, yeah. so we orchestrate yeah. that in there in a string ensemble. It's all happening in, in October when we get back. Right. I think it's also a good way of coming back, you know, yeah. doing something really new and exciting. Coming back from? Uh, from overseas, right. holiday, checking it out. I mean, with everything being the way it is with the band, have, have you guys got an idea of what success would be to you? In the sense, of, is this success what you've got now? Or is yeah, yeah, in terms of where we started, this is very yeah. successful. Yeah. Is it, is it it's already a success. Yeah. 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 So when you look back, when you started, you, you, don't, like, you don't plan for this. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, I think it's, a, it's a question of. Um, I explained the other day somewhat of, of, of borders and extending, you know. Like first we played in Stellenbosch and we thought the people in Cape Town are going to laugh at us. Yeah. When we played in Cape Town and we were well received and then, then we played like the East Coast. Yeah. And we came to Durban and like, okay, what's going to happen yeah. now? And people Fucking watched us. Yeah, yeah, I don't so know. Now, it like a yeah. Eventually, <laughs> <laughs> so eventually <laughs> after, yeah. after touring now for about a year and a half and yes. recording a lot of stuff, yeah. we, we basically have extended our borders to South Africa oh, yes. and Namibia. Yeah, 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 <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah. So, and now basically we're, we're actually quite almost like big fishes in a small, in a small pond. You know? Robben Island. Type thing. <laughs> we're going to go overseas plan, to right? Robben Island. <laughs> but yeah, but um, when we get to Europe, it's, we're going to be very small fishes in a big sure, sea. You know? but you've got to, your, your, your head has to be at the right place. So in terms of, 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 of our borders and what we've, what we've set out to do at first, we, we are successful, you know? but it, that's South Africa. South Africa, some people don't know where South Africa is. You know? yeah. <laughs> I'd spend some of course, in Spain, they, even Spain don't know where we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and uh, as far as the South African music scene, what, what do you think is still required to make it sort of a... a, 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 a better venues, better live venues, for one thing. Touring circuit, do you think that's a good idea that someone like sets up a that, I mean, as you do in the States, you, you can basically. Yeah, like a Lollapalooza type thing, kind of thing would be yeah. great. Yeah. Well, that'd be great. Oh, well that's, that's what people tried to do with the band slam in 1996. Yeah. It was, yeah. That was what happened with the band slam. It was and the it first, worked, yeah. It worked very well. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, in a way, they must also um, try and cut down on this which is South African music. Yeah, so instead of labeling yeah. it, yeah. So yeah, they label it as local music. The artist has to give us some pride as well. Absolutely. At the moment, they feel like the AMC. Well, it's, it's almost <laughs> a lot of fucking favors. Well, but what people, yeah. are, it's always been an, almost an apologetic way of yeah. saying, well, if you have something new that's South African. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. It's like what they have these. Yeah, it should be. I mean, they have these slogans on radio: yeah, support, yeah, support yeah. local music. You know, and, and it's very derogatory, actually. Yeah. Um, I mean, okay, so now you're going to support me because I'm a local band? Or yeah. Are you going to support well, me because, because, because you like my music and my music is good? Yeah. yeah. And that needs to get sorted out. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. 
<laughs> and as I've been saying, venues, you know, yeah, because most, most of the venues yeah. are very, very, very Everything is, yeah. yeah. Money is not, yeah, there's no interest, but that's from corporate uh, structures. Yeah, but they, oh, don't you find that there is more money coming into music? There's more now? money coming in labor. Yeah, which is a bit yeah. yeah. Did you guys, I mean, I know, I mean, a couple of years ago, you had a case of a support band playing with someone like um, in excess. Mm. You, what you were paid to support that band was nothing. It wasn't enough to make for you to cover your costs. It was almost a, I mean, yes, it's a privilege to play with an international band. But still the same. Still, still the same. Still. Yeah, well, that's big content, yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> <Go big. laughs> yeah, we don't get paid much, but at no. least. Um, that's why we don't play with all these European bands. Yeah. 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 I choose a nice one. Yeah, yeah. one that's just not. One that you. I'm at the thing's good last time. Yeah, that's something that you enjoy. But I mean, there's no need for us to lick other people's balls. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to ask you one last thing. I've switched to an ID for you. An ID? Yeah. Uh, to for radio. Oh, okay. Uh, for my, for my show, for my show with the cutting edge. It's, it's very cute, so it's very boring. <laughs> you can improvise with that. Yeah. You can pretend to be just on the cutting edge. It's very obvious. Are you laughing? It's a nice thing. Yes. It's a baby noise. It's Seth. Make a noise, Seth. Sing a song. He's saying it's a song. Okay, can you come up with a cliche then? Well, I've got the cliche. I have it. Okay. Like, how do you go? Your beautiful ladies are the cutting edge. <laughs> <laughs> family life, that's the real cutting edge. <laughs> Let's all get back to family life. Let's get married. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. You know if you've got maybe an idea to go on, I want to say, you know, as I mean, from this room, I've heard this. Right, yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> okay. It was a long time, I understand. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, brother. <laughs> name, band, show name. Yeah. Okay, shall I just talk into this thing? Yeah, just chat to it. It's very powerful. What's the uh, radio? Uh, uh, it's right on tax radio. Tax, tax radio. But the, the show is called The Cutting Edge. <laughs> uh, the Cutting Edge. Okay, yeah, dude. The, Hi, this is Arno Bloomer. I'm from the Spring of Nude Girls. You're listening to The Cutting Edge on Tax Radio. Isn't that cool? Hi, I'm Arno from... <sighs> Hi, I'm Arno Carson's from the Spring of Nude Girls and you're listening to The Cutting Edge on... Radio? Tax Radio. In Africa. Hello, this is Adrian, expo for the Spring of Nude Girls and you're listening to The Cutting Edge of Turkey's Radio. And I am a constant for the spring book new jokes and the glasses of cutting it for the radio talks. <laughs> Hi, I'm Arnie Costa from Spring Book Dinkles. You're listening to Radio Talks. <gasps> the Cutting Edge. The Cutting Edge. <laughs> <laughs>